A dangerous game. Democrats look to boot Senator Dianne Feinstein from the Judiciary Committee as they get ready to line up behind a different octogenarian for re-election to the highest office in the land. All that and more now on Graf's Grievances. Senate Republicans refusing to go along with their Democratic colleagues seeking to replace Senator Dianne Feinstein on the Judiciary Committee. California's senior senator has been recovering at home with the shingles virus since late February, when she last voted in the U.S. Senate. Feinstein's absence from the Judiciary Committee preventing Democrats from working to confirm President Biden's judicial nominees. This logjam resulting in Feinstein requesting last week to be temporarily replaced on judiciary. Unsurprisingly, Republicans, whose votes would be needed to replace the 89-year-old senator, have refused, saying they don't want to help Democrats place more liberal judges on the court. Many Democrats have not been coy about their frustrations with Feinstein's absence from the upper chamber, which Democrats control by an extremely slim margin. And while Feinstein, the oldest member of Congress, has said she will not run for re-election, that has not muted calls for her to resign. California Congressman Ro Khanna saying, quote, while she has had a lifetime of public service, it is obvious she can no longer fulfill her duties. And fellow Democratic Senator and Judiciary Committee member Amy Klobuchar saying that if Feinstein's absence from the Senate stretches on, it might be time for Feinstein to reconsider resignation. The alarm Democrats feel over Feinstein's absence is understandable. They want to accomplish the work of the American people. But rushing to push Feinstein out the door is a really bad look. In 2018, the people of California overwhelmingly re-elected Feinstein to a fifth full term in the Senate, knowing full well that she was 85 years old. Yes, it is understandably upsetting that Feinstein has missed nearly 60 of the Senate's 82 votes so far this session, but Democrats were rightly not calling for Democratic Senator John Fetterman of Pennsylvania to be replaced when the 53-year-old began inpatient treatment for depression in February. And just yesterday, Fetterman making a triumphant return to the Senate and being warmly welcomed back by his colleagues on both sides of the aisle. It's very simple. People get sick. Senators and Congress members are people too. They have real problems just like you and me. If they need to get help for a medical condition, we should support them in doing so and not call on them to resign. Knowing everyone gets sick, Democrats and Republicans should work together to allow the temporary substitution of committee members so that when members are absent for a medical condition, their presence on committees can be easily and quickly filled Yes, this won't solve the problem of full Senate votes, but it is one step that can be taken to address committee work stoppages. And on the question of age, we certainly need more younger members of the House and Senate to better represent all of America. But the way to achieve this goal is through the ballot box. That's how we effectuate change in a democracy. And of course, just because someone is older or younger, that doesn't necessarily make them a good representative. 
Democrats would be wise to keep this in mind as they gear up to ask millions of Americans, young and old, to re-elect President Joe Biden next year. Thanks for watching Graphs Grievances. Let me know what you think.